Good morning, Park Cubs. Today is Monday, October 1st, 2018. Welcome to the Cub Report, your daily source of information about what is going on here at Park. We kick off the Cub Report today by celebrating today's birthdays. For lunch today, in addition to all the usual items in the center station, we'll have chicken drumstick and corn. It's now time to read off some high five awards. Mr. Turner and members of Recycle Club, thanks for all you do to make every day Earth Day at Park, Ms. Renteria. Dear Jacqueline Leone, thank you for buying me cookies. Thanks Ms. Dickerson for pushing me to be a good student, Kyler. Thank you Mrs. Hernandez for being the nicest person, Kenneth. You can recognize a park student or staff member by filling out a high five award located right outside Mr. Osborne's office in the cafeteria. Would you like a free yearbook? If so, there is a yearbook cover contest started last week on Thursday, September 27th, and the forms are right outside Mr. Osborne's office on the table. All drawings will be due to Mrs. Hicks portable by Wednesday, October 10th, so that's next Wednesday. Are you interested in going to Washington DC this summer? Mrs. Green will be holding a parent meeting on October 4th at 6 p.m. in the library. She will also be coming around to classrooms to discuss this trip and what it takes to go. Come to the parent night next week. Here is part one again describing the trip to Washington, D.C. You've learned in school how Washington, D.C. is home to many amazing sites that tell the incredible story of our country. Now, you're invited to see and feel the history, energy, and impact of our nation's capital with your own eyes. Your days will be packed from morning to night. There's so much to do in Washington, D.C. Inspiring memorials that capture our nation's history. To some of the greatest museums in the world, Smithsonian Museums, United States Holocaust Memorial Museum, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, Mount Vernon, and many others. You and your friends will create your own memories to share for years to come. Um, my favorite part has been Lincoln Memorial because I got to finally see it in real life instead of on a computer. It was pretty cool. We got to ride in this airplane like we were actually riding one. Like we got to drive it and then we got to touch a moon rock. I think it's really amazing how they can fit so many big huge monuments and memorials for those people who really deserve it and they can keep it in a way so that everyone can view it yet it's very respectful for them. The memorial really brought a lot of heartwarming Memories back because my brother was in the Marines and it was kind of hard seeing him go all the time. This is not your ordinary history lesson. America's past comes alive before your eyes. Reach out and touch history. week our girls soccer teams beat both Desert Hills and Ochoa. We beat Desert Hills 4-0 and Ochoa 3-2. Nice job ladies. If you are interested in attending any high school athletic events in Kennewick, you are required to attend with a parent. All middle school students have to have a parent go with them to any high school football, soccer, or any other sporting events. Monday Madness is back. Teachers, please give out house points to all students wearing their house lanyards. Sixth graders, we have an important message for you. We'll be starting the process to elect three sixth grade ASB officers. If you are interested in being a leader at this school and making Park a better place, pick up an application packet outside of Mr. Osborne's office today. You must be able to maintain a 3.0 GPA and participate in all ASB activities. That means you must have participated in the popcorn and cookie dough fundraiser that we just did. Packets are due to Mr. Osborne by Thursday, October 4th at 8 a.m. If you have any questions about being an officer, come see Mr. Osborne at lunch. Here's a reminder about some items that are part of the student handbook and our, in our, and our dress code policy. Your jeans may not have any rips or holes in them above mid-thigh. If they do, you can wear leggings underneath or you will be asked to change. 
Additionally, all shirts must be appropriate for school. This includes not having any images of weapons, blood, or having any gang affiliations. We do not allow any bandanas at school as well. All of this is found in your student handbook, which you received at the start of the school, the school year. Remember, all cub reports can be found online by going to www.youtube.com slash Park Middle School Cubs. That's all for today, Cubs. I'm Mrs. Nesbitt, guest host and assistant principal. And remember, all Park Cubs are capable of success, no exceptions. Have an awesome day. <laughs>